Church family, we have another coronavirus update. Um, as all of you know, the cases in California have uh, continued to increase. Uh, our new peak on June 30th was nearly 10,000 new confirmed cases in our state. And in a response to that, our governor has brought back several restrictions. And one of them that affects us as the church is that they have restricted singing uh, in live services. Now, the rationale is that uh, uh, our, our scientists are equating uh, singing to sneezing, and thus it's much easier to spread the virus uh, when people sing together. So the leadership at 11th Street Baptist Church, we have decided to abide by this new uh, restriction that um, we won't be singing in our live services. Now, we've done this because we feel that this restriction is coming from a desire to protect people. And it's coming from a desire to slow the spread of this virus, which has already claimed hundreds of thousands of lives. This is a deadly virus and we, we want to take it serious. So because we think that this restriction is coming from a desire to protect people, we want to abide by this restriction. We, The last thing we want to do is to spread the virus because of our meeting together. We, we want to be a place where we can worship God and our members can come together um, safely. We want to protect our church family. We also want you to be aware that we're going to be cultivating singing elsewhere in our in our week. So from now on, starting next week, you'll receive the worship songs that we would have sung in our church service um, uh, early in the week. And they'll be available for you to use, for you to worship, for you to sing. And also this Sunday and the Sundays to come, when you come to church, it will in many ways look like it has been looking um, we will have announcements, the Word of God will be preached, the Word of God will be read, we will pray, and we'll have even a time of socialization and fellowship out in the parking lot. We're also going to maintain the time where Carol is playing the piano and we're watching the lyrics on the screen. Now, although we're not able to sing, we are able to hum, we are able to meditate, we're even able to speak the words with our masks on. So we're still going to have a time of song, but we will not be singing. So this Sunday, and hopefully it will be uh, not for many Sundays to come, but uh, our service will look like it has been without singing. So church family, please be praying for us. Please be praying for our state and our country that God would be merciful to slow the spread of this virus. And please pray with me right now. God, please, uh, we pray that this Sunday when we come to meet together and to hear your word preached and to read your word and to pray and to fellowship, uh, we pray that we would honor you. We pray that we would bring glory to you. We pray that you, by your grace, would not let this virus spread um, in our midst, that it would be far from us. God, please don't let our church family get this virus. And God, we would pray that we would do our part to make sure that our community is protected. We pray that you'd be honored through this decision for your glory and our joy. In Jesus' name we pray.